Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this rational equation x divided by y plus z plus y divided by z plus x plus z divided by x plus y equals to 1. And now we are going to find the value of this rational expression x square divided by y plus z plus y square divided by z plus x plus z square divided by x plus y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this very first equation and here I have copied it down as you can see and now we are going to manipulate this equation so that it looks like uh, this one. So therefore we are going to multiply both sides of this equation by x plus y plus z. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x plus y plus z. I'm going to multiply x plus y plus z on this side and likewise x plus y plus z on the right hand side as well. And now we are going to distribute this one across the board on the left hand side. So the left hand side could be written as x times x plus y plus z divided by y plus z and likewise plus y times x plus y plus z divided by z plus uh, x and then plus z times x plus y plus z divided by x plus y equals to on the right hand side one times x plus y plus z is same as x plus y plus z and in this next step I have tweaked this uh, equation by just putting uh, x by itself and then y plus z in the parentheses likewise in this second term over here I put down y first and then x plus z in the parentheses and likewise for this third term and on the right hand side x plus y plus z is same and here's the next step we are going to distribute these ones this with this one likewise this one and finally this one so this could be written as x times x is same as x square plus x times y plus z divided by y plus z and then plus this once once again y time y is y square plus y times z plus x divided by z plus x and then plus and I have distributed this next term as well as you can see equals to on the right hand side I'm going to leave everything same x plus y plus z and now in this next step we are going to use this property a plus b divided by c could be broken down into a divided by c plus b divided by c so we can write these fractions as the first one is going to be x square divided by y plus z plus x times y plus z divided by y plus z and the next is going to do we're going to do the same thing y square divided by z plus x and then plus y times z plus x divided by z plus x and then a plus 
and we took care of this next fraction as well as you can see equals to on the right hand side I'm going to leave everything same x plus y plus z and now we can see that this y plus z and y plus z they cancel each other out likewise this z plus x and this z plus x is gone and finally x plus y and this x plus y is uh, gone as well so therefore we ended up with the x square divided by y plus z and here we just ended up with just simply x and over here plus uh, y square divided by z plus uh, x and then plus y and plus next one is uh, z square divided by x plus y and plus uh, z equal to on the right hand side we have x plus y plus uh, z and now we can see that this x on the left hand side is gone with this right hand side x likewise y is gone with this y and z is gone with this z so therefore this equation could be simplified to x square divided by y plus z and then plus y square divided by z plus x and then plus z square divided by x plus y turns out to be equal to zero so thus our answer turns out to be zero thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye